Hey guys, Ernie here, and welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Putting cook kits together is something that I love, and I've put together plenty here on the channel. But sometimes it is nice to find a nice, complete, and affordable system you can purchase and start using right away. Now, if you watch the channel, you also know that I have spent years trying to find ways to make stoves, in particular alcohol stoves, work faster and more efficiently. Well, I'll tell you guys, I found an amazing, complete cook set for darn near 20 bucks that will make just about any alcohol stove you own way better. So stay tuned, we're gonna check it out. Thanks for watching, guys. This is the Sterno Inferno cook kit. Pretty cool little cook kit, as you can see. Now, at first glance, and looking at the cost, and the fact that it's designed to work with Sterno cans, you'd think, hmm, I'm gonna overlook this. This isn't something that I'll be very interested in, but I say you don't overlook it. These are the different parts. First, you have the top, which pops right off. Okay, this is the top for the pot. You have this stand right here, which is designed to use with the sterno cans. You just pop these legs out like this, and there you go. This is the rest of the system. You just pull this out. This is a little flame guard. Again, it goes on here and locks in place just like that. When you're using it with the sterno, then the sterno can would of course go straight in there. You can see this is a very nice little aluminum wind guard. This is the pot itself. It does have gradations on the inside. You can see it right there. It's got nice handles and it's got this design at the bottom here, very similar to like the jet boil, which diffuses the flame really, really well. It's anonized aluminum construction, pretty lightweight. The whole thing is nine ounces for the whole system, but you can take out the lid and the base if you want to. We'll talk about that a little bit later and get that down to about six and a half ounces. The dimensions when it's all put together is four and a half by four and a half by seven. And the price is, get this guys, the price is 23 bucks. That's a pretty freaking good deal. Now we're gonna do a little bit of boil testing on it. We're gonna start with boiling with a sterno. We're gonna do two cups. That's gonna be pretty hard for the sterno. I imagine it's gonna take a while. But then I'm gonna show you guys something awesome about this stove. We're gonna use it with an alcohol stove and you're gonna see how much better it works. So let's start with the sterno. All right, so here we are, 67 degrees. We'll light up this sterno. All right, it's lit, so let's put this on here. I guess it's seated. Yeah, it's seated. All right, so Sterno's on there, and let's see how long it takes to get two cups of water to a boil. All right, guys, we're at 211. Like I said, not surprising it's taken a little while here with the Sterno. All right, 12 minutes, 42 seconds for a boil with the Sterno. I will show you guys, it comes with this little snuffer, so I should be able to just put this over it, snuff out the Sterno, and there we go, it's snuffed out. So pretty slow time with the Sterno, but let me show you guys something cool about this particular stove. Now this is a perfect windscreen. And what type of stoves really suffer from the wind? Well, alcohol stoves. So for example, you wanna use it with one of the mini bull design stoves like the Turbo Gnome, go ahead. Or maybe you can use the Elite Pro. Yeah, you can use that as well. Maybe you don't wanna use mini bull. Maybe you wanna use something like Trail Designs. You can go with the Cogent stove, it'll work great. Don't wanna use the cogent stove? Go with the 1210, it works as well. All right, so maybe you're a DIYer, you wanna use a cat can stove, you can use that. Or maybe you watch some of my videos, you wanna make a Sprite can stove, it'll work. Or you watch one of my other videos where I made this out of a Coors can, you can do that as well. All right, so you don't wanna make it, you don't wanna buy from small companies, you wanna use something like a Trangia, tried and true, it'll work. If you're feeling a little more modern, you can go with the solo stove. I don't think it's any better than the Trangia, but it'll fit as well. Or maybe, just maybe, you wanna be like me today, and we're gonna use the Evernew Titanium. It's gonna work perfect. Let me show you guys how fast it boils two cups of water with this stove. So here we are with our Evernew Titanium alcohol stove. We'll get it lit. All right, it is lit. Let's get this on here. Let's turn this on. Let's see how fast we can get two cups of water to a boil. All right, guys, here we are. It's boiling, get to 212. I don't know, guys, sometimes it does this. It didn't go to 212, but it's been boiling. Holy moly. All right, it started boiling at like 452. We're gonna call it 452. I don't know why this didn't go up, but you could hear it boiling clear as day. 452, that is fast. Now, I don't know about you guys, but that is a fast boil time, smoking fast. And here's the thing, just about 
any alcohol stove that you can fit inside of that windscreen will work way better inside of the system. Between the bottom of the pot that has all those redundant aluminum baffles, it allows the heat to get into the water much quicker and absorbs the heat a lot better. Then of course, it's just the wind resistance of the windscreen itself really, really helps alcohol stove perform great. And like I said, you can cut the weight, get rid of the lid, use just some aluminum foil for the top and get rid of the base, which you really don't need with an alcohol stove. And you can really cut the weight down and make this into an ultralight cook kit. This this just shows you that sometimes gear can be adapted away from what the manufacturer originally intended its use to be. This one, for example, was to be with a sterno kit. But you look at it and you say, this could be perfect for an alcohol stove because it just ticks all the boxes on the things that you would need for a really efficient alcohol stove system. So always keep your eyes out and an open mind about gear and you never know how you can change it to your benefit. So what could you use this kit for? I see lots of different possibilities. Of course, you could use it for backpacking as an ultralight backpacking cook kit. Really efficient and pretty darn lightweight. You could use it in any emergency kit at home. You could put it in an emergency kit in your car. I think that's a great place. Or you could use it in a bug out bag. It's really lightweight. Alcohol is pretty easy to find. You could use this with solid fuel if you adapted it a little bit. It really, really is a versatile kit. And for just about 23 bucks, it's really hard to beat for any of these uses. A lot of times you're wanting to buy something for a kit, like a bug out bag or an emergency kit at home. And you know you're probably not gonna use it that much because it's gonna be stuck in your bag. Hey, 23 bucks is perfect, super functional. You may end up buying two because you wanna use one and leave one in your bag for just in case you ever need it. So what do you guys think? Do you like this product? I thought it was pretty cool. I've seen it for a little while and I thought maybe that'll work well. Once I looked at the design, I thought this'll work well for alcohol stoves and we proved that today. I don't know if you guys are aware, but I have an entire playlist on stoves. We're getting near 70 videos on stoves, all kinds of DIY stove builds, stove reviews when it comes to alcohol stoves, solid fuel stoves, gas stoves, anything stoves, check out that playlist. Do me a favor, guys, if you like the video, hit that thumbs up. It really, really helps. So I ask you to stop right now, go hit the thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, make sure you click the subscription button so you'll never miss any videos. And if you wanna be notified when I publish new videos, hit the ding dong bell and you'll be the first to know. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I think it is an awesome little piece of kit. I honestly think it's almost a hidden gem for people who wanna make their alcohol stoves more efficient, carry them lightly, and use as little fuel as possible. As always, guys, I appreciate you checking out the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Stay tuned for more videos soon.